You know, I'm I'm interested in saving the convict for last. And you know what? People always ask me about the bullet past. So we're gonna play as the bullet. We're gonna be Bunny Bullet. We're gonna get his past killed and we're gonna unlock the carrot sword. Cause we've already been spoiled as far as the carrot sword goes. So let's just, let's just do the past. Also, hello YouTube, welcome. I didn't do a proper YouTube intro, I just kind of jumped into it, but that's okay. <laughs> and then after this, all we have to do is the Marine and the Convict, and we'll be done. Well, all of the alternate starting pistols done. You came back because I promised, oh, I kept my promise and I yelled in Chris's chat. Or in his room, rather. Yeah, it's true. I walked up to Chris while he was streaming. And I yelled in his face. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's not that hard, just the hardest of the past. It is a, it's actually pretty tough. The fact that you have no ranged attack makes the uh, bullets past definitely the most hardest. The most hardest. <laughs> But we'll give it a shot. You got Can into half health and then died. You know his pattern now, so it should be fine. It's, um, really, you know, if, if I could give anyone any recommendation for the fight, it's go slow. It's very easy to dodge his attacks, but it's hard to get in there. So you just gotta find your opening and then find your time to strike. And that's what we're gonna be doing here today. And hopefully not taking any damage because we have this stupid sword. Okay. Yeah, I, do, I need to go through and remove the quotes. I've been saying this for months, but it'll happen one day. <laughs> Oiled cylinder, you know what, I like it. We have three keys, so we don't need to buy any keys necessarily on this floor. Okay, water barrel's on the right. Yeah, I have been saying that for a long time. <laughs> It'll be done one day, maybe. You just finished reading a Kill the Mockingbird, and now you want pizza. I mean, I just want pizza. I haven't had pizza in a long time. It's a red chest. Okay, we're gonna open this. We're gonna open this now. What the hell is this? Gunder Fury, Gun of Guncraft. Okay. I have no idea. Blessed Gun of the Gun Seeker. This gun gains experience with every kill and is strangely resistant to the gun's temporal effects. Any accrued experience will persist throughout time. A gun spoken of in legend, once wielded by Gunderon, Prince of Guns. This weapon ultimately found its way to the gungeon after being mishandled by millions of idiots for countless hours. So we have a gun that levels up in between runs. How weird, how interesting. So we want to use this gun to get kills on this run, and then on future runs when we pick it up, it's gonna be better, it's gonna level up. Okay. I imagine for the boss fight, we probably just still wanna use the uh, Gunder Fury level 10? Or is that LV error zero? I don't know. Whatever, we'll uh, just keep using it. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad, actually. Its range is horrible. Damage is actually okay. Okay, we'll try to use Gunder Fury as much as we can on this run. And then in the future, when we pick it up, it's gonna be even better. I like that, I like the idea of something that you can uh, do over the long run, between many runs, that's not just an unlock, it's a, hey, you can make this gun better.
bum 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 bum. Turbo gun. Unfortunately, we are not in a mod of the Gungeon environment, ergo turbo gun kinda sucks. But hey, it's still a gun. It's still a gun. Does it say what the level is? Hold on. Level 12. It's already level 12? Wow. We're doing so well. <laughs> I'm gonna take oiled cylinder and we're gonna break this chest and we're gonna break these chains and we're gonna go down to the next floor. And you know what? I actually have a reason to go to the oubliette. I wanna level up this gun. So for once, there's a reason to do it. Gimacho Libre, hello, welcome. How are you doing? I wonder, did we get a lot of experience for killing the boss or did it, is it number of kills? You know, we'll check after we uh, finish off this room. It's level 12. It, it seemed like it gained multiple levels on that one boss fight. So it's, it's probably like tied to the difficulty of the enemy. It might even be tied to like the enemy's HP and because we killed the boss with it, it got leveled up severely, because it's, it's not leveling up anymore. And you know what? If it gets stronger when you kill a boss with it, I mean, I have a new boss killer. <laughs> okay, it's level 13. Is it kills or damage, I wonder, too? Like, would it level up if I just do damage with it and then get the killing blow with another gun? I mean, either could be the truth. Still level 13. But you know what, this is a, uh, it's an interesting idea for a gun. I wanna keep using it. Except for that guy, we're gonna kill him with a dodge roll. Max level is around 60, just like in Classic WoW. As someone who has never played World of Warcraft, I need that sort of a, a, a reference check. It's like, by the way, this is why it's max level is 60, because of this reason. I would have never known that. I would have been like, it's not leveling up anymore, it's only level 60. It's not 100, it's not 99. It's such an arbitrary number. The only thing I know of World of Warcraft is that they release a patch every six months and the game is like six million years old and it looks like garbage, but people still play it. Well, that's unfortunate. It'll be great when I fight the zombie things. Oh, spent? It's true. Gungunda. It will level up no matter what, even if using another gun. Mm. It says level up with kills. I guess it depends on whether or not the gun is doing the leveling up or I'm doing the leveling up. Just by having it. Level 14. I still feel like using it though, because it is a new gun. And I feel like, you know, RPing, if anything else. <laughs> it's like, I gotta level up the gun. You know, what do you want me to do? It's now empty. It was level 14 when it died. Oh, God. oh no, oiled cylinder makes this harder. I didn't even think about that when I bought oiled cylinder. It's like, well, what's the best thing in the shop? Well, probably a stat upgrade, right? Okay, if you're gonna get oiled cylinder, I think it's gotta have a synergy with turbo gun. Like, the gun always fires at its maximum state. You don't have to spam the reload button anymore. Dude, that would be a fantastic synergy now that I think about it. I have like 
half a second to spam all of those reloads necessary, and I'm hitting wrong the wrong key on my keyboard doing it. And I can't even use click to fire because it's not mod the gungeon. <laughs> You're saddened now that Floppy Wood and this stream has made your day. Floppy Wood is always good for a laugh. Like, I want to use my other hand to spam the R key on my keyboard. Oh, thank God. So it was level 14. Now it's level 15. I, I guess it does level up even if you're not using it, but I still would like to use it. It looks like it's firing cheese. Little cheese balls. Does anyone else get that impression? Or is that just me? Okay, we have a green chest, we have a blue chest. We have another blue chest. Cursed bullets! Firing cheese, I approve, says Cheese Baron. Ooh, and combined rifle, okay. We have a, a backup gun. We have a good backup gun. It'll change at level 20. Well, I hope we get there at some point. And I think I should use it to kill the boss, because why not? I have a small damage upgrade. I think I'll have enough ammo for it. But we gotta level up the gun, you know. It's the rule of the game. I know it's not the rule of the game, bear with me. Run for those curse pots. Yeah, probably I will. I tend not to, but, you know, if we're just doing our past, we're not even doing the Lich on this one, I feel like we can get a little bit crazy. If the situation presents itself. And honestly, usually there are curse bots on the, uh, the second floor proper. So I imagine we'd be able to find a couple. About a third of the people in this chat have something against cheese, and that's disappointing. Level 17, and RR's ring. His ring of BS. We can save up charges and then swap out the clone or something on the later floors. This is fantastic. Hit the button, thank you. Uh, cheese is actually delicious. That's why you bind reload to one of your side buttons. It's middle mouse for me, which is good enough. I like it being there. I like it being in a place where I can I can hit it easily, but turbo gun is just horrible. <laughs> but I think it I think it would work with a synergy with oiled cylinder. Um, I should try to figure out a way of adding in synergies to the game, and then I'll I'll add in a new synergy for turbo gun in my mod. Which has always been, you know, on the to-do list. Level 17. So apparently at level 20 we'll get a new form. Which I like the idea of. Cheese is good as long as it's not bad. I, I will admit I'm not a big fan of stinky cheeses. They weird me out a little bit, but... You know, any other cheese is just fantastic. That's not a secret room, you kidding me? All right, we'll come back to you. Level 18, Gunda Fury. Make a separate mode called Ab Abergy mode. Isn't Abergy a type of cheese? Cheese mode. I wonder, does this gun take more time to level up? The higher level it is. Oh, I got hit! 
No! We've done it! We are the worst around. It was standing too close to the grenade bullet kin when he blew up. Level 18. I want to see what happens when it gets to level 20. If it's going to turn into a better gun that's more damage, has more damage potential, I'll be happy. Go to the rat. I don't want to go to the rat. The rat sucks. Oh, okay, that was a bad dodge. On my behalf, though, that guy fired very quickly when he entered the room. God, one day I gotta go through the quests. <laughs> Jornker's here, so it's just getting filled with garbage. Stop making I excuses. Look, my excuses are my own. You can't have them, they're mine. I hurt the rat's feelings. Rat does not have feelings. He's an unfeeling monster who cares about nothing except for stealing your garbage items. <gasps> da 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 Welcome, fellow Acolyte. It appears that gun cult fashion has changed substantially since our forefathers were sealed into this holy chamber. Be at peace, for inside the chest before you lies a fabled gun that can kill the past. Your long pilgrimage is finally at an end. Join us in eternal worship. Prostrate thyself! It's the gun that can kill the past. I need a key, it's okay, I'll be right back. Give me a moment, ignore the fact that I can teleport. It's high dragon fire, pre-rendered. Our holy relic, a simple gun that cannot kill the past? It can't be. Let's take a look at it. Imagine if I didn't have a key. I would be so sad. Immaculately balanced rapid fire will ignite foes. The long thought to be nothing but a legend. This gun's recent discovery proves the undeniable truth that it was always within the halls of the gungeon and you just weren't looking hard enough. High dragon on fire. It's a pretty good gun. Um, I believe it does bypass damage caps on bosses. And because of the buff to the... The dragon fire, maybe it also applies to the high dragon fire? I don't know. But we got a freaking secret gun that I've been looking for for like 300 episodes of AG and D, and now we found it. Fantastic. Do you need high dragon fire to unlock the finished gun? I have no idea. But we're gonna use it. Reloads quickly thanks to uh, almost entirely us having the uh, oiled cylinder. Kind of, kind of glad I purchased that one. And honestly, we don't need to actually kill the boss using this gun. We can use the fury for that, and hopefully get it leveled up. Level twenty. Seems horrible, but at least it's got auto fire. <laughs> we also picked up many keys. I like the many keys aspect of this. Pick up some guns. There's one. Table tech stun, pretty good. And let's check the shop. Nothing here that we want. Okay. Acceptable. Expectable. Let's go. Okay. How is it only A tier? It was the only chest they could find. It's a good comeback. 
Yeah, that was my first time finding that gun. I've never found that gun before after like 500 hours and like 302 episodes of Gungeon on YouTube. I finally found it on episode 15 of this series. <laughs> so, of the Farewell to Arms series. So I'm, I'm happy to find it, happy to find it. Wow, this gun is actually horrible. It's a lot less ammo efficient in this form. It's gonna take a long time to get leveled up. But we will try. I, I feel like it also has like less DPS output. I'd prefer to have the other gun. The only thing this has going for it is long range. That's horrible. Is it possible for Paradox to start with a high dragon fire? I have no idea. Wow, this thing is actually just trash. It's level 20. Like, we used one, like, mag of, or like one capacity of the old version of the Gunder Fury to get it from level one to like level 16. I used almost all the capacity in this gun to get it one level. This is gonna take a million years. <laughs> Ugh. I'm glad you came. You are glad you came to the stream. Well, I'm glad you're here too, Cybercorn. Also, why did this guy create fire? So sometimes when um, when that Chance Belon does his uh, his attack, he does not create fire, and sometimes he does create fire. I still don't quite understand the difference between what makes him create fire, and what makes him not create fire, because that is a new thing in Farewell to Arms. I don't know what's doing it. Hope it's ammo, honestly. Dude, I'm glad we have 10% damage up. <laughs> I wish we had more, of course, but this will this will do for now. this up. Yeah, this thing is absolute trash as far as ammo efficiency goes, but we will use it. We will use it as much as we can in order to get it leveled up, because that's what we're here for. Okay, we're done. Yeah, that's it. What'd you miss? You missed uh, this thing. High dragon fire. We got it. We freaking got it. Have a shot, shell. Yeah. I want to explore a little bit more first. You never know when you're gonna find like a, a scatter shot or backup gun or anything that just gives you better efficiency on Winchester's game. Why can I not shoot him? It's like there's um, something in the wall that's preventing my bullets from moving. Yeah, there, there's totally something here on the wall that's preventing my shots. Weird. Right there. Right here. He's like a weird hitbox. It exists on this side, too. Hm. Weird. It's not because it's a wall, okay? <laughs> I know what a wall is. Like, like, okay, watch this, watch this. Do you see how some of the shots are, they're breaking here at the bottom of the wall and the other shots are hitting the midpoint of the wall? Notice here, the shots are hitting the bottom of the wall, and notice the top wall here, they're hitting the midpoint of the wall. The, the hitbox for the wall only happens in the middle of the wall, 
But for some reason, the hitbox here was happening, um, it's happening a lot lower. There is a problem with the hitbox there, and there's a problem with the hitbox here. I don't know what the problem is, but there is a hitbox issue. Hmm. It ha that happens sometimes in Gungeon. I don't really know what causes it. It used to happen in Winchester's game room, which was always really annoying when that happened because it's like, well, my shot was lined up perfectly and then my bullet was destroyed because it hit like an invisible lantern in the wall or something, you know? And I guess there's a similar thing happening here. If I'm complaining about the gun's damage output, I just need more curse. Well, I haven't found any curse pots, okay? Or at the very least, I don't remember finding any curse pots. Maybe I, I did and I skipped them. Okay. Well, I think we should do Winchester's game. I think we should also buy a key, open up a chest, open up this one. Okay, we just saw this gun, but I mean, I'm happy to have it. And it gives me a good opportunity to use Void Shotgun and then reload and then get the free shots out of the Void Core Cannon. So that's acceptable. That's acceptable. And I tell you what we're gonna do here. Try to break the damage cap using the uh, large shot from the Combine Rifle. You know, if you have something that breaks the damage cap, you might as well hit the boss with something that does like 100 damage and then start breaking the damage cap like this. You know, hit him to get him low and then you break the damage cap with high dragon fire. If it does break the damage cap, I, I don't know if it actually does. I assume it does, because I've heard it does. Rainbow brown chest will always pass you by. My game crashed on a gunslinger run because of one. Ooh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Worlds of Guncraft. The planets orbit me. No, that's just the gun. Hold on. It, some, it shoots planets? World of Guncraft shoots planets? I accept that, that's... I mean, as long as it counts for leveling up the gun, I'll take it. Weird synergy, but you know, that's totally what it does. It just fires guns. Hey, we got Sir Junkin, by the way. Hello, my honey. Hello, my baby. Hello, my Junkin friend. Take me out. I don't. I have a blank. I don't care. Winchester, don't forget. I forgot. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter, but you're correct. I did forget. Okay. Now I'm now I'm catching up on chat, and it's like, yeah, Winchester. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. Who cares about Winchester? We're going to save our money and buy something better. Good lord, this gun is horrible, though. <laughs> Rainbow chests on Gunslinger crash it. I've, I've heard that it works fine. I've heard that if you get a Rainbow Chest on a Rainbow Run, that you can open all of the items because it's a Rainbow Chest. And Bolo is okay with that. level are we? Level 23. It's gonna take a while. Also, you know what? I'm, I'm surprised by how quick it actually is to level up. You know, I would have expected it to take like 10 runs to level it up to 60, but so far we're getting it, you know, up there pretty easily. Sorry, planet. 
and it's not going too badly. I wish that it fired the sh the uh, Mr. Crucian Jr. shots a little bit more frequently, though. Ooh, ammo. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> the rule of this run is Gunder Fury. If ever we can get ammo for the Gunder Fury, we're going to take it. We will level this gun. Come hell or high water! Come past or no past, this gun will be leveled up. Half the things on cons console just break the game. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. This is a pretty frickin' awesome synergy, though. Anything that just gives you free rockets is wonderful. I'm kind of thinking to myself, maybe I should try to like find ammo in the Gunder Fury and then kill the mini boss using Gunder Fury. <laughs> maybe it'll level up like four levels or something. I don't know. Oh, I dodge rolled in the wrong direction. Dodge rolled backwards. Also, hey, you know, you still have a gun. It's not not the best shotgun in the game, but it's still a gun. You know, you can keep shooting it. I like it for this room just because I don't know where all the enemies are. Also, I have Table Tech Stun. I haven't used that in forever. Ironically enough, Enter the Gungeon team said that they spent more time bug testing this. Yeah, well... <laughs> I mean, they probably did find a lot of bugs and fix them, but a couple, a uh, couple nasty ones went through. It happens. I mean, here's the thing. I'm, I'm never gonna, like, I'm never gonna be mad at, at uh, Dodge Roll team for that. They are a team of like four people, right? They're not a AAA game developer. You know, if their game has some bugs in it. By all means, it's still a fantastic freaking game. I love it. Ah, I have no thing that I can use. I still haven't even found the shop. All right, well, you're getting destroyed. At least this one we can open. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, Macho Brace was not worth it. Maybe I should have blown up the chest, but I wanted to see what was inside. Bam, bam, bam. They don't have open beta testing. That's true. I kind of I kind of like that though because then when the update comes out everyone is excited for it. You know, one thing that happens in early access games is you might get sick and tired of playing the game. But, you know, if they just release it all at once, then uh, you're ready to go. You're ready to play it, and you're you're not tired of it. What happened? Oh. Right, the uh, dodge roll buff on Gunder Fury just goes out, like, instantly. I do like when we fire the planets. I'm gonna throw the gun. What happens? Nothing. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I was like, I wonder what happens if you throw the gun. That's gotta be a secret room. You see that? I mean, I know I already found one, but it seemed like it was gonna be a secret room. By the way, floppy wood. What if ghost plus cursed bullets let you kill LJ? That's an interesting one. Or maybe just like allow you to fight him. So Wallmonger, Wallmonger, we're gonna use, I mean, we're just gonna use Dragonfire. That's what it's there for, right? K 
Kill, kill, kill the boss. I already used a blank. Why did I switch guns? I must have accidentally hit like the uh, mouse roll, mouse scroll wheel. So, I mean, this is the, uh, oh, he fired right when I dodge rolled. This is the problem with um, high dragon fire is that it's a good gun, but you know, what does it do? I mean, yeah, sure, it breaks the damage cap. It, it still doesn't do like amazing, outstanding DPS. It's kind of just like a gun, you know? I kind of wish it was stronger. For it to be a super secret rare gun that you find in a hidden secret room chest, you know, why not make it like double the damage output or something? Might be a little bit more fun. By the way, we can't reroll the bullet that can kill the past. We actually have to keep that so that we can go to our past and fight the bosses there. So what are we gonna do with this rat ring? I guess we could reroll a gun that we have. And I don't wanna reroll Gundafury because I kinda like having it and leveling it up. So what are we going to reroll? I have no idea. I don't, we don't need the op, we don't need uh, the other guns. I wanna save my money for this floor, maybe we, we can buy something. Has anyone seen the Paradox space hole spawning in an elevator? I don't think so. If the wiki says that it can only spawn on floors two, three, or four, that's probably correct. The familiar gets my cursed bullets, I just noticed. That's awesome. I wonder if more familiars in the game get your bullet modifiers. Level 27, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's taken a million years, but you know what? One day, this gun will be the best gun ever. It has to, it has to be. Or else I'm wasting my time. I'm sorry that we're not leveling up Sir Junkin, but I'm kind of sorry, not sorry about it. You know, we're opening up chests. Wait, if I dodge roll, if I dodge roll Winchester, sh or yeah, the familiar shots get the effect of Macho Brains. <laughs> That's so weird. Too many things in this g game can get the effect of Macho Brace instead of the player. It's kind of amusing. Hey, Sooner Grace. Uh, this is worth spending money on. And there is another shop man. Really not a secret room? Okay. The paradox effect in your game is broken and only showing the shifting outline on the border. Well, pay attention then. All right, Sinner Grace, show me what you got. <laughs> Why is Scrambler C tier? Oh boy. Why is the frickin' uh, Glacier A tier now? It used to be a C tier gun, and I missed it. I miss it, I'm, I am missing it. I'm missing it in my life. This gun sucks. Ah, you were disintegrated, lovely. Ah, you know what? Just realized something. This gun, or this item that we just picked up, the pig, it's actually a real good candidate for re-rolling with the rat ring.
but I think we're about to find a shop. Nope, we are not. Shows what I know. All right, let's just go re-roll it. All right, rat, show me what you got. I'm getting rid of the piggy. I want something that's not just a one-up. Ring of triggers. Okay, now we just need an active item. <laughs> All right, hold on. Um, uh, active item, act what? Where are we gonna find an active item? Also, that enemy died and sh fired in the wrong direction because of it. Gotta find the uh, shop and hope that the shop has one, but the shop never has an active item. I think like programmatically, it can only have passives and guns, so there's not gonna be an active item here. I guess we're just gonna re-roll Ring of Triggers. Cause it's, it's kinda just worthless. No, 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 don't re-roll that, re-roll this. Truck guy has an active. Okay, if truck guy has an active, let's go talk to him real quick. Airstrike. Okay, you know what? It's probably good enough. You're right, he had an airstrike. Can I steal it? No, but we're gonna get enough money. Okay, well in that case, let's reroll something else. How about... Wait, how come it's dragon fire? Why is it yellow? <laughs> I don't know, okay, purple? Purple. Yellow. It's weird. I could have rerolled the bullet into the clone and then redone the game. You know, I guess technically I could have. We're not going to, but we could have. How about let's reroll Dueling Laser? Yeah, that's a pretty good reroll there. <laughs> Getting Yari Launcher. Science Cannon, all right. We got Science Cannon. Wow, my guy. Look at how far away from the body I hold this gun. Something's wrong here. Hello, where did you come from? So now we re-rolled into uh, one of the worst beam guns in the game. But I'm still gonna use it. Need money. I gotta buy the airstrike. I don't even know what we're gonna use with the airstrike, but I want it because we can get it. Admittedly, my aim sucks, but it's also a weird beam, okay? Give me some credit here in Gungeon. Emergency nine, hello, welcome. The run is going well today. It's a very interesting run. What is this, level 29? It's almost leveled up! I bet you if we kill the dragon with this gun, we can get it. You know what, it's curse. This actually seems kinda nice. Do the Petty Familiars have a synergy with the briefcase of cash? I don't think so, that's a good idea though. Dude, I love firing a freezing shot out of Gunder Fury. I just wish it happened more often. Game watch o Libre! Thank you for the resub five months. You're fantastic, my dude. Briefcase of cash only has a synergy with the brick of cash. Sounds about correct. I forget what the synergy is, though. Wait, isn't the, uh, 
briefcase full of cash and the brick of cash. What was in Apache's mod behind the shop? No, that was um mustache. I forget. Sub hype. <laughs> Absolutely. We've done it! We have two shots left, but it's level 30. It's it's sniper rifle now. Fantastic. By the way, should definitely be using the uh, disintegration effect from Combine Rifle against Spent. If you disintegrate them, they don't split into other pieces. They just die. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Last chest. Beehive bullets. Fantastic. Um, guns have a chance of firing charming money with the synergy. Kind of, I thought it would be better than that, but actually, that kind of makes sense that it's not as good as I thought it was. Because now that I think about it, I think it was not as good as I thought it was. Anyways, let's go fight the boss. We have the. Combined rifle shots along with the Yari launcher. Although, honestly, we probably just want to fire the Yari launcher. Kill the dragon. Sorry for the flashing. I'm trying to get value out of the uh, ring of triggers here. It's sometimes working. Why don't I use Chaff Grenade to steal the airstrike? That's true, I mean, it would have given us a little bit of curse, but we're basically done with the run right now. All we have to do is kill the boss and then fight our past. Take one more phase, which is fine. You know what, one more phase, use Void Core. Finish the job. There's a bug with Gunslinger in co-op mode where if one player gets a gun with synergies, the other player gets the same synergistical effects. Weird. World Ender, off to nap. See you later, thanks for stopping by. If you want to stay for like two more minutes, we're gonna fight the bullets past. I have the bullet, right? Yeah, okay. Let, you know what, really quickly, let's see what we would've gotten. I don't think the rat can reach it. Oh, you know, you, you know what it is? It's because we dropped it previously. So we're just gonna have to do this in this room. Drop it, teleport away, come back. Right, and you can't even do that. Speaking of briefcase of cash. <laughs> All right, well, um, we're gonna die rich on this run. But you know what? We pick it up. We swap it out for something else. We get green guanstone, which is now an A tier gun and not an S tier. I'm sorry, an A tier item instead of an S tier item. So, you know, that's another positive in Farewell to Arms. Let's go fight our past. I used some of the rat charges and I used one at the end. You just went a full run without re realizing it's Spring Hill Boots. Uh, that was literally my last run. <laughs> I bought them on the first floor, I think, and then I forgot about them for the entire game. You know what? It happens. It happens. I did use a couple of ring charges before that. You know, that's how we picked up Yari Launcher. That's how we picked up uh, something else. I forgot what we re-rolled. Doesn't matter. We're a skeleton!
Okay. Gungeon proper, the past. Oh, it's so slow! Oh, my young lit, only you can save us. I tried to wield our ancestral weapon, but its design is alien to me. When I aim and fire, it just stabs me in the head. Even though I had lost much of its great power, it is said that it can reflect the magic of that dark wizard. I fear all is lost, but perhaps where you succeed, or perhaps you can succeed where I have missed. Aim true, my... <gasps> Blasphemy to the point. Can't interact with this guy, which is unfortunate. We gotta fight things using a sword that doesn't fire any bullets. Though, it's no longer turbo mode, which helps a little bit. You hate opening black chests and just seeing that awful Guan stone. <laughs> it's pretty horrible. So it's you, the bullet person. The spell is almost complete soon. My quick draw master rises. All bullet kin will be slaves to his grandeur. To be fired by his will. I've learned from your undead master, but I am not his kind. The usurper shall soon reign. Turn back now, return to your chamber, rejoin the rest of your pathetic kind. What do you think you can stop me? Go ahead on! Go ahead on? What? <laughs> Go ahead on. Is that even words? I got stuck. Oh, right, I for Right, turbo mode is not on. But also, I forgot that uh, on diagonal walls, the hitbox is all fun funky. And the camera locks my uh, movement. I actually can't move any far down. Yeah, okay. Gotta remember how to, how to fight this guy. He's gotta do that three times. Oh my god, I hate that attack. Honestly, I get hit on this guy because that attack hits me nine times out of ten. The attack where he fires like the four lines of bullets, the, those four. I hate that attack. Gotta remember though that the strategy is to just walk in one direction and then go backwards. I think. Oh my god, we're gonna die bef before we even fight freaking cannon. Bring me back my turbo mode! I wanna be able to dodge roll. Also, we have three blanks. So when I'd smack into him. I did not need to blank there, but you know what? I'm glad I did. Stop locking my movement camera. Oh my freaking god, I hate this. Okay, we're at least we're gonna get to cannon. Get oh my god, I missed? Maybe we're gonna get to cannon. It's gonna, I'm gonna, it's just gonna have to use my blanks on that attack now. Yeah. I mean, I hate that attack. There's no way of predicting what direction these things are gonna go in. Yeah. So we're just gonna die on the bullet past. Combination of that attack being bullshit and also turbo mode not being enabled. <laughs> F. God damn. That, I hate Agumen fight. I hate the fact that you don't have turbo mode anymore, so you, all of my, like, standard timings have just gone out the window. And that attack where he fires the four lightning waves of bullets, they're impossible to predict. I hate it. Anyways, we're gonna have to do this again.